Hi guys, today we're in Cranham and we're doing a beautiful walk in um, Cranham. Um, and it's one of England's most treasured habitat. There's beech woodlands. The walk is two to three hours long, um, depending how fast you walk. And it's four miles and 6.5 kilometers long. This is probably our sixth or fifth um, Cotswold walk we've done. Most of them are very beautiful, so it looks like this one's going to be too. I hate steep hills, but got to do it. Cotswold uh, is full of hills and valleys and villages and soon we're going to be uh, walking through Cooper's Hill just uh, over there and yeah. So we're here as you can see in uh, the village and we're going to cross Buckholt uh, Woods and uh, join Cotswold Way and then go around and come back here. Where? Here. It looks like we're going through the deep dungeon. There's steps made naturally by the roots. Look here. If you got lost in these woods, it would be terribly uh, hard to find your way um, back to the village or to civilization. It's like a maze. Uh, I just found um, a snail shell. It looks really big. Let's see if there's a snail inside. Oh, yuck. It looks like it's dead. Ugh. Snail? Look at the snail shell, it's so yuck. I'm big. I know. So far we've climbed a lot, but we haven't even got halfway through the walk yet. <sighs> You've probably already noticed, um, but I've got these two pom-poms to accompany me. Um, because they're very fluffy and warm and they've been on my bag since 2000 and um, I can't even remember what year it was. That's how old they are. So we've reached Buckholt Road um, just here and now we've got to find our way to Codswold Way which is uh, a few minutes of walk to get to Cotswold Way. This is probably the best thing about British countryside. It's always very calm and serene. Poppy Mummy. <sighs> There's probably somebody uh, collecting firewood for a lot of people, because look at these logs. There's loads. Like us, the people in front of us, they, they have lost their way as well, and they think they know which way to go, so we're just gonna follow them. <sighs> Such a dense forest. Even if it rains, it looks like we'll be safe in here. So quiet. You can you can hear the owl tooting if you listen. And birds. It's still sunny outside of the woods, 
but it's the forest is so dense that you can't even see the sunlight coming in. It's all muddy over here, so we've got to be careful because it could also be slippy. Look, there's a forest. That's saying the bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a forest. A deep, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Uh-oh, we've got to go through it. Stumble trip. Stumble trip. Stumble trip. Here you have to be very careful. And Sophia slipped here a few times already. Um, so we're trying not to slip. It's a very steep section. And we noticed that that tree has started falling down. And some mud. Gara, are you climbing on dinosaurs? Yes. No. Should I? I don't think I'll get off. Okay. Do you want to get down? If I can jump. We finally got out of the forest and we can finally see sunlight again. And just from here you can see a, uh, the valley. It looks beautiful. Dara, look. Can you see the whole wide world? No, but I can see a big valley. Like a cricket. They're like grasshoppers, but they make sounds. Sophia, you were right about seeing the whole world from here. Um, I don't think we can see our house. <laughs> well, our house is far, far away. Yeah. Don't go past it. Do you see the yes, road? Yes, we can have our picnic now. No, do you see the road? Yeah, I see the road. I can see little cars just crossing over there. We're going to head back to the Cranham village. The map says it's that way. And we'll go all around uh, through there and back to the village. So let's go. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> you have to go sideways so you don't slip. Because if you went forward, the, uh, the rock will roll and you can slip. So you have to go sideways. Okay? Look how steep this hill is. It's even steeper than the one we just did. And it's uh, and there's dust so we can slip easier. So we have to go sideways. This will be fun if you go slightly fast. From here we have to go single file monkey style. Stevie told me. Um, we're about halfway through the walk now and we've just seen this beautiful lake ahead of us and I think we'll have to keep going from here through this gate. Sophia, there's a horse! There's two horses! Yeah, there's one white and brown and the other's brown and black. Whoa, look at that other one, it has really big feet. <laughs> Why are they making weird sounds? Because they have these metal things at the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? It yeah. has a bit of grey and... and... That's a weird sign. It says, lost wife and dog. Reward for dog. That's mean. I can't remember it. Hmm. Look over there, there's ombre colours. Uh, the sun is shining on that part of the plants and then there's only shadow there, so that's dark green and then it turns into light green slowly and it looks like ombre colours, but just green. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Look at the 
mud here. How are we gonna get there? Maybe we should go. Yeah, because we can't go that side. Are you then. sure though? Uh, or should we go there? It's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. 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 I think we should have gone the simple way. Which is? It looks like we've lost our way, but we're going to get off Cotswold Way now and make our way up this hill where we hope there should be the village again. It looks like we found our way again and we're back in the woods and I think I can see the road and hear the cars so it looks like we're close I never thought I'd be so happy to see Buckholt Woods again and me and my mum negotiated a deal that after this walk we'd get some ice cream and biscuit. No, I'm having chocolate chip um, ice cream. Huh. I'm going to have cookies and cream. Oh, we're on the path again. Samuel, we're on the path again. Um, Samuel isn't um, wearing the right shoes. Some, for some reason, and she's being carried by my mum, so I have to carry two bags now. Ow! Car coming. Finally, we're back to the road. Have a look. Do you see people? Come on. I, re I remember this path. two deers over there. There's one, you can probably see it, just over there. And there's another one in the bushes. It's just crossing there. See, see, baby deers. Oh yeah, see that. Now we finally reached the car park, just up this really steep hill. Um, then we can finally sit down and have a rest. And then we can get our ice cream and biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. I'm already really hungry as a thought. I'm having chocolate chips. I love chocolate Look how steep it is. <sighs> Mommy, why are you running? Yeah. So if you want to so we just went to the pub and ordered some hot chocolate and some coke and we're all exhausted because instead of four miles, we walked six miles instead and now we're all exhausted and can't wait to have some ice cream and um, biscuits. Um, but why don't you come and join us next time when we do a different walk? Um, and we'll see you. Goodbye.